Yo, what up guys? This is Corey Lupton and on today's video I'm with Tish Tash Tash and we're doing a little bit of a collab so obviously that means we shot a video over on her channel and you guys will see it shortly but it's pretty much like the end to this video so once you're done watching this you're gonna have to go check it out to see how it all sort of pans out and basically today's video is we're gonna be showing you guys how to dress like a white girl so let's do it. Let's do it. So you guys probably thought that since I have a white girl with me, we were going to use her and basically turn her into an even more white girl. I'm pretty white already. But <laughs> you're completely wrong. She's going to show me how to be a white girl and embrace my inner white girl. Ta-da! There we go. Now, now I'm a full white girl. Mm -hmm. But we're actually completely kidding. I'm not actually going to embrace my inner white girl. We are going to make Tash here more of a white girl. So. Time to transform back into normal. Love in the top knot though. Man bun Monday. Man bun Monday. Everyone knows that the first thing that you're going to need when you are being a white girl is of course Starbucks because you can't be a white girl without Starbucks. Of course not. You need it in your life. So we better get Tasha Starbucks then. Mm -mm. So here's your Starbucks. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah. Remember, um, you need coffee but you also need some sort of fun shop to go with it, like chocolate or caramel or something, because you can't be a white girl with just a coffee. I know. Or you gotta get like caramel soy macchiato with hazelnut pumpkin spice and sprinkles on top. You're not a white girl unless you don't have sprinkles. If you have blah blah. You're not a white girl. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're not a white girl if you don't have sprinkles on your Starbucks. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need if you want to be a typical white girl is, of course, your Katmandu jersey. Katmandu! And it has to be Katmandu. Yeah, no, you can't have any of that other stuff. Yeah, no warehouse brand, sorry Ooh. guys, but you got to like splurge, you got to get a Katmandu jacket. Mm -hmm. No mat pack, none of that shit. Exactly. Got to be Katmandu. And you've got to wear it all the time, even if it's not cold. I know, even if it's hot, you just mm -hmm. wear it anyway because, you know what, embrace that white girlness. You don't get hot if you're a white girl. No. Even if it's summer, you just rock it anyway. You rock it constantly. So the next thing you're going to need is a pair of black tights. And these are the sort of tights where you don't actually know if they're tights or if they're pants, but you wear them as pants anyway because that's what you do. You know? Yeah. The tighter the better, I think. The tighter the better and the more leggingy, the more you should be trying to wear them as pants because you are a white girl. Exactly. Don't take hate from no one, rock mm -hmm. those tights. Of course the best place to go for the generic legging is of course Supre, but you can get them um, anywhere else really. Like they're, they're literally everywhere, like I think dozens of them came out. There you go. Yeah. The next thing you're going to need is a crop top. Of course. And this goes on underneath the Katmandu jacket in case you want to like unzip it and show everyone sort of how cool you are and your nice like White girl stomach, I guess. Yeah. You go to the gym at least once a month, so you need to show that off. Exactly. So get a crop top, one like this, that's got a little bit of like crochet. Yeah, some cute lace Yeah. going on. Again from Supre, you know, Supre is definitely the number one white girl shop. So there you go. Head to Supre, get yourself a crop top, a pair of leggings, and then get to Kathmandu and get yourself one of those jackets, and you're almost a white girl. To get it yourself, get your mum to get it. There you go, get your mum to get it for you. Yeah, you don't buy stuff like that. And the last thing you're gonna need for your transformation into a white girl is of course the Ugg boot. Of course, you need it. You see these everywhere, they're comfy as hell. Mm -hmm. They're not really shoes, but for you, they are shoes. You can rock these anywhere. Definitely. You'll rock them everywhere, actually. Rock them at the mall, rock them at the supermarket, rock them at the beach, no judgement. And obviously, okay. you need more than just one Ugg boot, but, you know, I'm not gonna hold up to because I don't have to. Yeah. So, yeah. Keep some Ugg boots. Are these actual Ugg boots? Actually, I think they might be. What does it say? What are these just generic? Oh, yeah. They're just generic Ugg boots, but they're not actual, like, legit Ugg boots. Damn. You can't even white girl properly over here. You can't white girl properly because these are just from Kmart. But, you know. Close enough. You guys won't know unless I put this in the video. Then you will yeah. know. Yeah. So there we have it guys, that is basically all the items that you need to embrace and become a white girl. Classic white girl. So go grab yourself all of these items and then you're well on your way to being a white girl. And obviously now you guys are like, but we haven't seen them on. Well that's what Tasha's here for. So you go check out her channel, you can click on her face right now, or like, I don't know, probably down in the comments. Yeah, Not the comments. description box. There we go, in the description box yes. below, 
and go to her channel where we shot the rest of this video. We've done a bit of a lookbook. Super and cute lookbook. Like, yeah. Super cute. Not just one white girl outfit, but multiple. There we go, two. That's two. multiple. That counts multiple. as multiple. Yeah. There we go. Put a lot of effort into this video. Exactly. <laughs> so go check it out and find out how to embrace yeah. your inner white girl. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys next week. Yeah. See us. See us.